Okay, so many of you guys in the comments have been asking me to complete the achievements in SCP Roleplay. And today, we are going to be doing exactly that. In this video, I'll attempt to get every achievement in the game, and hopefully we are successful in doing so. So anyways guys, enough talking, I hope you enjoy. And people, we are here in the game right now. Look at this roleplay button over here and just spawns the class key for now. And guys, for this whole entire achievement video, I think I'm gonna try to go in order with a sculpture dance all the way down to uh, whatever this thing is called, uh, infinite survival. But yeah, let's try to do this thing right here, sculpture dance. Looks like we have to dance with the SCP-173 belts wearing a top hat, which uh, I don't really know how that's possible. Matter of fact, let me join the scientific department right here. Because I think it's gonna be a little bit easier playing as like, uh, you know, this team instead of a class D trying to dance with this guy. Okay, so yeah, SCP-173. I'm guessing I just have to like go inside here and maybe like make him dance or like something like that. Okay, he's, he's still contained. So yeah, if I go over here and I do like E dance or something, is he gonna like wear a tops hat or, or, or something? Um, he just blinked uh, over there. Yeah, let me, uh, can I try to, like, monkey dance or something? Like, does this thing work? Oh, never, okay, it does not work! Do not, do not monkey dance on him! Okay, yeah, uh, squash it out. Do not dance in front of the SCP-173 without, uh, without him wearing a top hat. But let me just search in a wiki how you're supposed to do this thing, because, like, you know, I'm not, I, I don't know how to do it myself. Two seconds later. And boys, according to the wiki, you have to shoot these blue orbs in SCP-131's chamber. I mean, the only orbs that I know are, like, the ones right there, right? But yeah, apparently you're supposed to shoot some blue orbs, and I think he, like, put the top hat on. Or, like, it, it's, it might be, like, an Easter egg or something. Okay, so the first blue orb is right there. I'm guessing we just, uh, we just, uh, tap it like so. Let me click on that. Okay, yeah, let me try to go inside this guy's containment, like so. I see it. I see it, boys. Let's shoot that. I swear, the last orb should be, like, near this area, right? It might be out here. Oh, I see it! Okay, so I shoot this thing. Oh! Okay, and here we go! Let's, uh, E dance over here, so then, like, you know, we're at, we're literally dancing with this, uh, 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 the SCP-173 sculpture. That's just one achievement down, 15 more to go. It looks like our next achievement actually is, uh, True Freedom. Oh, and by the way, one thing I want to say, if you put your cursor over this button here, you actually do unlock some sort of, like, kit. So I guess we'll just equip this thing, uh, I'll probably show you how it looks like on screen, like, when I do, like, editing off video, something like that. Yeah, so let's, uh, run out here quickly. I think there's only one guy guarding. Oh, wait, no, there's two people guarding. Let's go over here. Achievements just escape through the outside helipad, which is probably, like, the easiest things to do. You don't, you don't really, like, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's run right now. And let's try to do a two-for-one. I know for a fact you can actually, uh, escape the foundation without using any sort of weapon. I don't know who that is. Oh, that guy's rogue! Wait! There's a 096 out there! I looked at this guy's face! Okay, that is not that bad, because malicious code is uploaded. And boys, I didn't pull out my weapon or anything like that, right? Because I didn't pull out my weapon, uh, that guy's rogue as well. Dude, we're all good in the hood. Wait, this is so perfect! Everyone is rogue! This guy can't do anything. Look, he's trying to shoot me, right? Yeah, let's not try to uh, pull out our weapon or anything like that, so we get, like, a two for one. Yeah, let's escape like so. There we go! The first achievement I got is True Freedom, which is escape from the helipad. And then the second one I got is Prey, successfully escape as an unarmed Class D. Which, uh, I'll show you guys the CF4 effect right now, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere like that. And for this Prey, I'll just put it on the screen as well when I edit the video. And it looks like the next achievement we have to get is called I the Insurgency. Reach 5 SCPs in one life as a Chaos Insurgency member. And boys, I'm not trying to cheese the game too much, but according to this wiki, you're actually able to breach out the same exact SCP. So boys, let's actually just, uh, head on to it. The Chaos Insurgency are attempting to breach out SCP-002. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of scary. If I'm not able to do this thing within, like, one or two tries, I think I'm just join a different server. Really, Nick? Okay, boys, I'm not even trolling. I joined a server with literally three people in it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go straight to a Sector 3 over here, because everyone should be, uh, where the Class Ds are at. This SCP is currently breached out. Wait, are all the SCPs breached out or something? It actually looks like it. Oh my goodness. This might be a server where, like, the SCPs are pretty much breached out, right? Yeah, 049, please, uh, if I can try to leave this guy in the door, then lead him out. I think it can pretend that I'm, like, uh, breaching him, right? Yes, there we go. There we go. I, I breached that guy out. That's one breach. Okay, so if I try to breach out this SCP another four times, I think I should get the achievement, right? So, yeah, please get in there. Five minutes later. And, guys, after this last breach, I'm pretty sure I will get this I, the Insurgency, achievements. Technically, I breached this guy out five times within one life, so yeah, come back here. Okay, please get out there. Please get out, get out! 
Nice. Let's go! I finally got the achievement, I the Insurgency. Which, by the way, I didn't really get it legitimately. I kind of had to join like a smaller server to even do this thing. But yeah, that just proves that you can use the same exact SCP to breach out the five SCPs you need within one life. And guys, the reward you get is actually this uh, Insurgency C4 effect, which I'm going to show up on the screen as I'm ending this video so you guys can see what it looks like. We're going to move on to our next achievement, which is not Prey, because technically we already did it. But it's actually this one right over here, Dangerous Diagnostic. Now guys, according to the wiki, you have to get very, very lucky with uh, doing this procedure. It's like a 3.3% chance you can get detected, or something like that. But guys, nothing is impossible. Let's go to a medical department here, spawn in. I'm going to try to get a classy to go all the way to SCP-409 and then touch him. Afterwards, I think I have like a 2 minute window to bring the SCP all the way to like this uh, x-ray laboratory. And then I go over here to scan the class for any SCP-409 viruses or like uh, infections. But right, guys, let's try to do an impossible. Let's try to get one of these classies to come with us. Uh, maybe this guy here. Yes, please come. Okay, so yeah, class D, come with me. Am I, I, I think I'm lagging or something, but that's okay. Let's go to uh, sector 3 over here. Watch out for this Tesla gate. Um, yeah, yeah, watch out for that. I said watch out for the But okay, come over here. Come over here quick. I'm gonna tell this guy what to do. Just touch and then follow me. Yes, touch the SCP, right? He should be infected, right? This is when I try to, uh, this is when the 3.3% chance kicks in, by the way. Yes, yeah, so please get inside here. We have some guards with us as well. This is real role playing. And okay, good. No one is here. Stand over here, sir. And I'm gonna scan this thing. Watch this. Please, 3.3% chance, please. Huh? Bro, let me use this x ray machine. Dude, I swear, you're supposed to use this x ray machine when you're here. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to be in the medical department, right? I'm gonna try to be in the medical department. Bro. Bro! Get back into them! Dude, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm actually here on a very small server right now. I'm gonna try to join this game with my alt cat and try to, like, uh, try to do this test. And dude, there you are. Let me authorize you. I'm literally trying to control both devices at the same time, which is kind of hard. So yeah, let's go down here, then go up. Okay, I'm gonna open this door. There we go. My guy touched the crystal. Now he's gonna get out. 12 seconds later. And dude, please SCP roleplay gods. I'm trying to get this 3.3% uh, chance. My guys are literally gonna infect it like in 20 seconds. Okay, so the class D goes inside here. He, uh... Class D, get inside here. We're gonna face that way, then I'm gonna activate this machine. And hopefully this gives me what I want. Aww. Sir, uh, how do I even detect this uh, SCP-409 uh, inside of you? Also, my phone is so laggy right now. Look, I literally detect this thing. I think I'm gonna try something really smart. I'm gonna try to infect myself, right? I'm gonna infect myself like so. Then I'm gonna go over to Class D, but I'm gonna spawn again, and I'm gonna try to run to myself. Later that same evening. Yeah, Class D is gonna come here, right? Then he's gonna get infected on purpose. Nice. And then I pop this thing. You do. This is like a cheesing strat right now. I gotta try to get lucky with the one that's like 3.3% chance. I'm probably gonna see the spikes over here. Wait, what? Wait, apparently I got the dangerous diagnostic award. Wait, now hold up. I'm pretty sure the mutated version of this thing is like you, you get bigger and you're a rainbow, right? Like I put it somewhere on the screen. But bro, it looks like I actually got the achievement, man. Let's go! And like, dude, the reward he gets actually like this uh, crystal mutant kill effect. That was actually so cool, man. That is a huge W for me. Alrighty, so yeah, I think the next achievement we have to get is this thing called uh, Just In Time. Stop an SCP-00 hack within 5 seconds of it being activated. So pretty much once a Chaos Insurgency hacks the SCP-008, there's a 1 minute 30 second timer, right? And guys, you're gonna try to disarm this hack within like 1 minute 22, 23 seconds of it about to be detonated. And dude, I love how I'm doing this thing on an alt account, that's so hilarious. But yeah, let's open this thing, I'm gonna get a timer ready, right? And remember, it takes 1 minute 30 seconds till it goes off. There we go, I'm gonna start it. And hopefully nobody shows up, because I'm trying to disarm this thing within the last 5 seconds. A few moments later. Okay, we're gonna start it. Oh, we might be going too quickly here. We might be going too quickly here. Oh, wait, I think we're good. No, we're perfect. This is perfect. Perfect! Just in time! Which, by the way, you actually gained this uh, Biohazard SCP-096 bag. And I'm just gonna show up on the screen how it's gonna look like if you, like, do recontain SCP-096. But anyways, let's move on to our next achievement, which is recontain all the SCPs within one life. So according to the wiki, you have to recontain the SCPs without dying once, nor going rogue. And this is pretty much like the opposite of, like, I the Insurgency.
But yeah, let's see. If there's any breach SCPs, I will recontain re them. If this SCP is breached, I can technically recontain him through this, right? There we go. 457 should be coming back here any second now. I think some Chaos Insurgents were just here. This SCP right now is breached out, which is actually pretty good. We can recontain you like so if you hold still. Nice. We need the 457 to come here. Wait, what? Bro. Bro, stop getting breached out. Yeah, uh, wh where did the 457 even go? 457, get out of here. Oh my goodness, bro. This is actually so annoying. You know what? Wait, I actually got the Nine-Tailed Fox! Bro, I got the Nine-Tailed Fox achievement just by doing that. Holy. Finally, 457 comes out. Okay, boys. This is technically uh, doing it, right? Like, like, like we technically did. Alright, now to the reward get for this thing is actually this uh, SCP-173 kit. It's a blue one. Looks kind of cool, but I think I prefer this golden one. Okay. But yeah, guys, I don't think I'm going to do, like, foundation policy, like, or any of these things. Like, I don't think I'm going to do them. But anyways, boys, I'm just done here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.